up you guys and welcome to Titan Weekly. We're here to give you the most up-to-date information of all of our productions here at Titan TV, as well as the latest news, trends, and events. I'm Alyssa Ruiz. And I'm Hiba Berry. We let you, our viewers, know what our shows have been up to. And if you like what you see or want to watch the full episodes of the productions mentioned, click on the links in the description box below. So, I've been seeing a lot of headlines on Twitter, online, about The Bachelor. And I know you watch the show. I do. I don't. So what is going on? Oh my gosh. Okay. So, wasn't a fan of Ari since the beginning of the season, but after the most recent episode, I don't like him even more. He proposed to Becca, okay. and then a few weeks later decided, no, I made a huge mistake. I actually want to be with Lauren. So he broke the engagement off with Becca, and now he's going to try to fix things with Lauren. So he backed out of the first engagement. Backed out. Changed his mind. Yep. What a nightmare. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> really, Ari? Really? Well, in other news, our Cassidy Joe sits down with Dr. Anthony Fellow in the latest episode of In Focus about his new book, Tweeting to Freedom. Well, let's talk a little bit about your book, Tweeting to Freedom. Yes, that was a, that was a book of love. I think it's a, a tremendously interesting book. And it's about um, 32 countries of, of, of um, freedom-loving people around the world. Mm -hmm. Uh, who are using social media to change their governments and to change their way of life. The report tackles and discusses a hot topic that is very relevant this year in our country, gun control. Take a look. I think there needs to be protection at schools. Um, to, because correct, to correct your fact, there's 300 million or more guns in America. Um, in 2015, the Washington Post did a report saying that there were more guns at that time than there were actual American citizens. That is ridiculous. We do not need that Regardless many guns in America. Regardless of whether we were to ban all guns, period. The confiscation process that would go through, especially in gun-hungry states, is going to end up, I feel like, in more bloodshed because people want to protect their Second Amendment right to bear arms. A new episode of Titan Radio Live is now up for your viewing pleasure featuring the rock band Thrift. The spring equinox is starting on March 20th and to mark the beginning of the new season, the International Friendship Club hosted the event Holy Hangout. Holi, also known as the Festival of Colors, is a traditional Hindu holiday that celebrates the victory of good versus evil. I experienced the festival firsthand. Check it out. Happy Holi! Bring out the colors because the March equinox has begun and so have the Holi celebrations. Holi is a holiday celebrated across the Indian subcontinent by the Hindu culture as well as by Sikhs and Jains. The holiday signifies the win over good versus evil. Also known as the Festival of Colors, participants gather to play, laugh, dance, and repair broken friendships. Kushal Jain, president of the International Friendship Club, explains the purpose of hosting the Holy Hangout event. It's all about uh, sharing culture and this is our first successful event because we were uh, established in November 2017 and this is our first successful event. So we will be celebrating many uh, other events as well, which might be of significance to other cultures. It's not only for Fullerton students, I would say. It's for anyone who wants to join us. And uh, we have approximately 10 to 15 members who are uh, not from CSUF, but the rest of them are from CSUF. And we just wanted to get all the culture to, uh, you know, together. The participants here at Holy Hangout range from all different ethnicities and are here to celebrate diversity, a message Cal State Fullerton has always stood by. American friends, so they helped us to conduct this event over here and we invited uh, international people from other countries like uh, China, Korea, and they also came and played and enjoyed as well. It was so fun. The most important ingredient in celebrating Holy the right way are the powders that range in vibrant colors. Usually there we use colors mixed with water and usually we wear white shirts because the colors will be very colorful, even more colorful in white. So, and yes, we wanted to do it here so that we won't miss the home country. 
This has been Hibba Berry reporting for Titan TV. Sunday was the 2018 Oscars and I'm going to give you the quick rundown of the winners. Ready? Here we go. Guillermo del Toro won Best Director for The Shape of Water and the film also won Best Picture. Alison Janney won Best Supporting Actress for I, Tonya, and Best Supporting Actor was won by Sam Rockwell for Three Billboards Outside Ebbing, Missouri. Frances McDormand won Best Actress for the same film as well. And for Actor in a Leading Role, Gary Oldman won for Darkest Hour. Coco won Best Animation Feature and Basketball Player Kobe Bryant won for Best Animated Short. Whew, that was a lot of winners at once. As if we couldn't love her anymore, Academy Award winner Frances McDormand won Best Actress for Three Billboards Outside Ebbing, Missouri and gave, quote, the most rousing feminist moment, end quote. She asked every female nominee in the room to stand. Also, before introducing the award for the production design, Lupita Nyong'o and Kumail Nanjiani introduced themselves as immigrants and made a statement on behalf of the Dreamers. Nanjiani closed by saying, quote, to all the Dreamers out there, we stand with you, end quote. Let's be honest, when it comes to the Oscars, it's not always about who you are, but what you wear. The Black Panther squad was stunning on the red carpet. Lupita Nyong'o and Denai Guerrero killed it with their beautiful dresses. The king himself, Chadwick Boseman, shook the men at the Oscars with this look. Sorry, nominees. The Black Panther cast has got some serious style. Jennifer Lawrence be serving disco ball realness in her dress. And Laura Dern's simple yet sophisticated gown also stole the show. But Rita Moreno's dress may be causing some deja vu. That's because it's the same dress she wore for the 1962 Oscars. Hashtag queen. But with every up, there is a down. There were plenty of fashion faux pas on the carpet that night. Selma Hayek may have missed the mark with this dress. This look is a little too extra for my taste. Singer St. Vincent may have forgotten half of her outfit at home. Put some pants on, girl, there are children watching. Ah! Olympic figure skater Adam Rippon giving off some Fifty Shades vibes with that harness. Mr. Rippon, we'll see you now. Well, that's all for us here at Titan Weekly. I'm Hiba Berry. And I'm Alyssa Ruiz. Be sure to check out our other productions here at Titan TV and subscribe to us on YouTube. See you next week.